Do you want to know what is the Tupitu library project? Stay tuned and I will tell you. Hi, this is Gustav, the developer of Tupitu. Welcome to our channel. In this video, I want to introduce you a new feature of the coming version of Tupitu 0217. If you take a look at the library panel, you will find a new option the search button. This new feature will allow you to look for graphic assets to complement your animation projects. You will be able to look for items as objects, characters, and backgrounds. The Tupitoff Library project is the repository containing all the graphic elements you can search for, directly from Tupitoff Desk. Now, let's answer some interesting questions about our initiative. Is the Tupitoff Library project a free feature? Yes, from the version 0217 of Tupitoof, this feature will be available in all our software releases. What is the difference between the Tupitoof Library project and other free repositories like OpenClipArt? First, the repository is integrated to our desktop tool, so you can search and insert assets in your animation projects directly from our software. Second, except for the backgrounds, all the assets included in our repository are native objects of the Tupitoof architecture, so you can edit them and modify them as much as you wish. You can adjust colors and forms for every asset depending on your needs. 3. Absolutely all the assets contained in the Tupitoof Library repository are covered under the terms of the Public Domain Dedication License. Those terms allow to our users to include all these free graphic resources in their animation projects without any obligation like mentioning the credits of the creator, among others. Who creates the assets of the Tupitoof Library? As most of you already know, Tupitoof is a project created by the startup Maeforesta. Well, although our company is small, we have assigned a team of two designers to create 100% original assets for the Tupitoof library project. Our goal is to produce thousands and thousands of free graphic items to support the animation experience of our community users. So the challenge is huge, but we truly believe that the effort is worth it. Who support the design team behind the Tupitoof library? As I mentioned before, Maeforesta is not a big company, so to make the Tupitoof library a great repository, we need your help. Contributing just one time for one dollar, you can make the difference. To create this new resource, we will need to invest months of work and we need to pay to our designers, so your support is key in this new adventure. All the backers will be included in our credits page and also they will have the privilege to request specific assets to be included into the repository of the library. If you want to donate, you can use our PayPal link. On the other side, if you want to get involved as our Patreon, you can join us on this link. If you are too young to make a donation, please show this video to your parents and teachers. Maybe they could be interested in helping us. Now, as the final part of this video, I would like to show you a couple of examples of what you will be able to do using this new feature. Be comfortable and enjoy the show! Demo number 1 Let's start a new project and let's move to the library panel. Ok, let's say we want to animate a scene in the sky. So maybe we would like to set the right background. What about a dynamic background? Could be. Let's pick this one. And let's set the right settings for it. Now, let's preview our new background, but to do that, let's move to the frames mode and add some new frames.
Okay, it's time to move to the static background mode. Now, let's say we want to include an airplane crossing the sky. Let's find one. Let's pick this one. Ok, let's fix the size of our plane. And let's try a new color for it. That's it. Now, all we have to do is to play your scene. Ta da! Demo number two. Let's say we want to animate a UFO flying around a forest. So let's start picking the right background for us, this time a static background. Let's look for it. I like this one. Ok, it's time to add the flying saucer, so let's move to the frames mode. We go back to the library panel and then we look for the asset we need. There it is. So let's add it. Just allow me to adjust the size a bit and move it to the right position. Ok, now all we have to do is to animate the spacecraft. We can use either the frame by frame animation technique or we can use a twin. Now we select the flying saucer and then we create the path for the twin. I'm going to use two segments for the path. Allow me to adjust the nodes and the curve. That's it. Now I'm going to set the number of frames for every interval. Let's say 20 frames and 20 frames for each subpath. Let's apply the twin and we are done. It's time to play the scene. Funny and easy, don't you think? Note, we are very aware that this feature is not a replacement for all the animation techniques and procedures you can learn using our platform. This new feature is just a complement for all these newbies trying to create their first animation projects. Ok, that's all for now. I hope you like this stupid idea, and I hope you like our new initiative. And please don't forget to support it. We really need you in this one. Thank you for watching! Stupid keep animating! And see you in the next video!